Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. I'm at the beach, just chilling. Had an appointment at the VA and the beach is not far. So I came up here to this beach because I love it. It's beautiful and I like seeing a lot of um, my black people at the beach. There's just something about going to a beach and seeing your own people there. Um, don't get me wrong, I like diversity. Um, but sometimes, you know, being amongst your own brings a sense of comfort a lot of times and familiarity that you need, especially when you're homesick like I am most of the time. But that's one thing I love about living in this part of Virginia is that we have the water here and you just can't beat it. I used to live, when I first moved to Virginia, I uh, rented a house right across from the beach. And the house looks small, it's a brick house, but once you go inside, it is massive. And I think I was renting it for 1,700 a month. This was back in 2018. So it was me and my son, and my son was three. So you can imagine, you know, being able to walk across the street to the beach. Now we got here, it was winter time. And what was amazing was I had never, ever, ever seen snow on palm trees. That was the most phew, snow on palm trees. Like what? But um, you just can't beat it. And I almost bought one of these condos out here too. But the, the realtor that I had, she um, said, you know, before you buy condos, you always have to look at the condo association and see what their um, financial management looks like. And she did some digging and was like, no, this is not the place you want to. You're supposed to have a certain amount of money and reserves. And these people didn't have that or at least not enough, you know, that would suffice if emergency would happen. They wouldn't have any money to cover it. So she said, bad uh, condo association management is a huge red flag. Come back, I wish I had because shit. <laughs> the price of these condos now are probably double, you know, based on the economy. <clears throat> Look at this beautiful family right here. All girls. I said, now is the baby in the stroller a boy? He said, nope, I got me a faux fo 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 my God. God bless him. But anyways, I wanted to talk about this video with this woman. I swear to God, though, don't let her hurt my motherfucking feelings more than some shit like this. This is just me and my baby, but my feelings are so hurt right now. Thank you. Okay. You do actually get a large pizza for them. Oh. Pepperoni. I can't even sit here and act like my feelings ain't hurt. My feelings is hurt, though. Like, they have a whole fucking party, they have a whole table, and it's just me and my baby. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, but my feelings is hurt. I can't even have my emotions right now. Like, I'm not even supposed to be like that, but to be sitting in a place full of people and knowing that it's only you and your baby, then I swear to God, my dead mama and my daddy, a bitch can kiss my ass. A bitch can I never in their life kick my motherfucking phone. A bitch can I ever in their life ask me for no motherfucking advice. A bitch better not ever for me. Like seriously, I want to just tell y'all, and just for all of y'all, don't ever in your life, because nothing is more embarrassing than setting up a party and not have nobody there for your child. Yes, my baby's gonna have fun. He's gonna have fun by himself, but it's crazy that why did I even set up a party for people to not show up? At the end of the day, bro, my feelings is very fucking hurt. Very hurt. Cause I can't get no money back. I set up a whole party and there's nobody here but me and my child. Now, oh my God, oh my mama, if you ever in your life fuck with me or say you fuck me, don't, don't ever fuck me again. Don't tell my own my life, bro. Don't ever in your life call my phone. Don't ever in your life ask me for no advice. I don't care what it is or who you is. Because when it comes to my baby, I don't be on that. I can't even have my emotions. Like, I want to, like, bro, like, being serious, I can't have my emotions because my feelings is very hard. I can understand a couple, but nobody. So anyways, on to the video, guys. Um, when I first saw this video, my heart just went out to this woman. I wanted to find her original 
the original video so that I could reach out to her and let her know that it's gonna be okay. You know, because I know exactly what that feels like. And I hope that her heart isn't hardened because of it, that she doesn't become, you know, um, vengeful first. And I hope it doesn't stop her from helping others in the future. But oftentimes it's things like this that hurt us to our core that will make us build a wall up, have that F the world mentality. The same thing happened to me though um, at my son's eighth birthday party, I think. And all the people that I knew here being in the military, they all retired or separated and moved away. So, you know, we don't have many people um, that we associate with out here, which can be very scary as a single mom sometimes. Um, but through church and his school and curricular activities, uh, I was able to invite like eight people. And so I invited eight people and the party started at like 1230 at the bounce house. Hi, how you guys doing? Good. Thank you. <laughs> so it was scheduled for 1230, right? And um, about, it, you, you know, you reserve it for two hours. And so at like 1.15 or so, I was like, well, damn, ain't nobody coming? You know, it's a bullshit. <laughs> and then, you know, I started to feel some kind of way, just like this young lady. It wasn't a vengeful feeling. It was more just like a, a hurt and a disappointment. I think that's where her crying came in and it got to a point too where I started to cry too. I didn't do it in front of my son though, but I walked to the front, you know, and there was another lady that was working there who I checked in with, who me and her had kind of established a quick little rapport. And I was crying and I was like, nobody's coming to my son's party. And she was like, it's okay, don't worry about it. She goes, I'm gonna do some face painting for him, um, free, no, no, whatever. You know, and I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Right. And uh, as I'm sitting there crying, one of the parents came in with their kid, you know, and she like she was like, see, you know, and she gave me the warmest hug. Oh, my gosh. I haven't had a hug like that in forever. And it just did something for me. And so um, one of the parents came and then another parent came and another and two of them said they couldn't find the place. They thought it was surge across the street. And, um, you know, but with the lady in the video, I have a sneaky suspicion that people eventually showed up because if a majority of people that she invited are black, <laughs> baby, <laughs> CP time, it don't matter if you on a time schedule or not, we gonna show up when we want to show up, okay? And that's usually gonna be an hour to an hour and a half to two hours later. So I have a feeling that they showed up. Now, if nobody showed up, it's either one or two things. She gave them the wrong date and time. I'm going to just say that if nobody showed up, if not even at least one fourth of the people that she invited showed up, she gave them the wrong date and time and it's all her fault and she should be mad at herself. But I don't know if that's the case because you don't forget your kid's birthday and you just, you know, or she did something so disgraceful that none of her friends and family will F with her. That's the only way that I could see that happen because I have a cousin that did something. I can't even say it on here and none of my family watches this, but I can't even say it. That's just how bad it was. <laughs> but don't nobody mess with this cousin no more. Nobody. So um, that to me, those are the only reasons that I would think friends and family did not show up. But I have a sneaky suspicion that Two hours later, as she's packing up here, they all come. I just got a feeling. I'm gonna try and do some research. And if I find something, I'm gonna come back with it. But has that ever happened to you guys? Get all dressed up, nowhere to go, you know? And I mean, you know, she said, hey, you know, my son, you know, he gonna have fun by himself. No, 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 no. You go play with him. Cause that's what I had to do. I got in them bounce houses and bounced with him and made him make friends with the other kids that was in there. 
the thing is, you know, we sometimes we, we just have to be super strong for our children. There's nothing wrong with letting your, your child see you cry, but it's his day. And we have to put on our big girl panties and do what we gotta do to be tough for them um, at all costs, you know? We have to be tough for them, especially when they're that young, you know? And you get your ass out there and, and you go play with them. You know, that's how you do that. And if those people really didn't come for trivial reasons, I don't know. I mean, people got a lot going on, but I feel like nowadays people are just so quick to say, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna just stay in the house. I'm gonna just chill. I got all the comforts I need. And really what it is, it's social media. People are so addicted to social media and isolation that they literally would rather stay at home and catch up on their reruns than to go out and socialize and have to actually interact with other people. And I know this because I've been there. I've been that person before. Say, oh, you're having a party at your birthday. Mm, I'll just send you a cash app and stay, stay my ass at home. But if everybody that you invited is on that same type of time, then that's a recipe for disaster. And of course, you don't think that everybody is on the same type of time as you are. You think, oh, such and such will be there and such, she'll be all right. No. Get outside. Do stuff. We got to do, we got to start doing stuff. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this beach, this weather. Today is my son's last day of school, so I'm going to enjoy this solitude while I got it. Okay. And y'all have a great one.